This video is sponsored by Auroform. It is time to go racing at Suzuka. And the Japanese Grand Prix is underway. Max Verstappen gets the launch off the line he was looking for. Alonso did get a good jump but couldn't do anything with it. Side by side we go with the McLaren and the Ferrari. Lando Norris is in third. It's as you were. Verstappen, Perez, Norris then signs. And Fernando Alonso couldn't make it work on those soft tyres. He remains in fifth as they make their way through and off into the wall. This gaming chair has turned up the perfect timing. So we have recently reviewed a standing desk from Vernal, we'll leave a link in the description for those who are interested. And we do have our standard IKEA desk, we've had it over three years. So we basically have two desks, but one chair. So Orofall was kindly able to send this C3 gaming chair and we will unbox and also tell you our honest uptake. Take a look what's inside. Okay, so for our first impression, it's really good. I'm going to quickly take this out. This seems to be quite heavy. So that is your accessory box basically and everything else should be in here. So you can see this is your seat itself. As you can see straight away the packaging wise is nicely well packaged and handled really care. So your items is secure and safe. Okay so far I've not seen any instruction manual. I'm assuming Excuse me. I'm assuming the instruction manual will be in this accessory box. So we're gonna quickly open it up and see all of the screws and the bits that we're going to need. Okay, so the instruction manual is indeed inside this accessory box and we're going to read through and see if it is easy to follow. So obviously all of the items it's easier to lay it down like that and then start it from the ground. So far, the first step is to set up the base. So we're gonna quickly put the base down and then we're gonna build from there. So we're gonna add these into the base. So basically these are some sort of a clip, like that. So that's clipped in. So it's a hook and clip. Okay, that's in. And then we need to add the damper. You just press this down in there so that's fully in and then we need to screw these in these wheels at the bottom so again I like this simplicity so okay turn it around that's fully set so far okay I'm just taking these four out and then we're gonna add these back in using the same screw So this is what is basically going to control your seat level going up and down. So we just need to open these four Allen keys right in the middle. It's very important to put it the right way around. They have marked it for you. It says here front arm needs to go onto this side. If you do it the other way around, it's not going to work. So basically this is what's going to rest on your arm and it has all of the screws that came in with. I'm gonna take a look. This says right and this says left. And it also gives you the arrow which direction it needs to fit in. Now the next step is to put your leg support through here. So this is actually the fun part where you start seeing things going together. So we're just gonna put this in here. Like that, that's in. The next part is um, see in, then you're almost there. There's four screws, one, a two in here and then two in here. That goes inside here, then you're good to go. Okay, so now we need to cover this area. Obviously this is very, uh, invasive so you can see everything 
So in order to cover it up, then you do have your cover here. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at first impression. Okay, so just open it up, rest it in there, whichever size that you are working on, and then return it back. Now we're gonna conclude this video with five things, which is features. As I said earlier, this chair comes with tons of features. I think this deserves eight out of 10, simply because that it lacks two other features that I would like to see, which is the pitch well, on your armrest. So it doesn't have the ability to pitch up and down. It only has the ability to go left and right. So that is one of the main reasons. And again, as a gaming chair, some gaming chairs, they do come with built-in speakers, so it gives you some, that immersive gaming experience, whereas this gaming chair doesn't come with it. So again, that is for a top-notch gaming chair. So obviously, you need to pay a lot more for the dollars. Whereas this one here is priced at £259.99, and that, again, uh, brings me to value for money. This, it's nine out of 10, is that close simply because it doesn't have those top-notch features. I feel like this deserves nine out of 10, which is again, a very generous a valuation that I'm giving here in terms of a value for money. If you use my discount code APTECH30, you will get a whopping 30 discount. So make use of that discount if you do want to purchase one of these. And now usability. Like I said earlier, this gives me a really fantastic, it does what it says on the paper. Um, you're able to use it here on a daily basis for work purpose, as well as for gaming. It's very comfortable. It's, uh, it has that really nice, uh, rich material feeling. Um, so therefore I, I do see myself using this for so many years. So I'll give this 10 out of 10 in terms of usability because it's very comfortable. Um, now moving on to the design aspect. Um, this has been designed really care. Quality, like I said earlier, is a top notch. The material feels like a, a leather. Um, however, I'm not going to give this 10 out of 10 simply because I can see there is some improvements that can be made. Uh, things like the logos, there's all over the place. It's on your face, you don't have to mention it. Um, so that is one of the things um, I'd like to have some sort of a discreet logos. However, this one has logos every single place that you turn and you see the logo is in front of you. So for that reason, I'm going to give this nine out of 10. Moving on to the setup. Again, the setup was quite interesting um, as my background is from engineering and accounting. So I tend to measure certain things as well as um, count at the same time. How long did it take me? So this took me roughly around 30 minutes. So simply because I wasn't following thoroughly the instruction manual I was just using my gut instinct for some cases so that took me a little bit longer 30 minutes I think is decent so the setup process I'll go I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 because it's it's basically plug and play all you have to do is just add these screws using the allen keys that you've been provided with finally quality 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 now when it comes to quality with any items that you purchase um, obviously the the cheaper the quality you purchase you end up paying twice or three times by buying the same thing. So this feels like premium quality. And um, for that reason, I'm going to give this nine out of 10. And um, like I said earlier, quality is not only because of the materials that has been used. It's also with uh, a combination of ergonomic, how it looks like, as well as uh, the material and how it feels. So because it feels a little bit bulky for my liking, and that's one of the main reasons I'm going to give this nine out of 10. So for those who are interested in seeing my studio revamp video, I'll leave a link up here. And for those who want to see a seated version gaming chair from Razer, I'll leave a link down here. Till next time, stay legend.